Good evening, folks. My name is Sean Matola from 2 Hamburg Street. Um, now I understand uh, all that explained why you wanted my name and address through our email correspondence earlier this afternoon. Uh, so I came here to put my uh, a face and a voice to my emails. Um, I am here to uh, say that uh, this ordinance has no place even being considered. Um, the two and a half million times per year a firearm is used by a law-abiding citizen to stop or prevent a crime. That's two and a half million lives that are saved every year just by one of us. One of the things you said in your one of your response emails to me, Alderman Flynn, was that in 2007, you already have an ordinance, Ordinance 833, that's on the books that prevents, that already uh, talks about hunting and, and discharging of firearms in open spaces. Uh, and as I said in my email, uh, that particular ordinance, which you said nobody opposed in the public hearing, uh, s does nothing to talk about the carrying of permitted uh, firearms, licensed holstered firearms on shelf public lands. Uh, and I think that that's one of the reasons maybe nobody opposed it. But I think you can see just by looking around to you today, there are very many people here today that oppose this particular ordinance and with good reason. Um, I don't know if my comments were read on the record yet. Um, I don't have, I didn't bring copies of them with me with our email correspondence. Excuse um, me, Excuse me. Uh, just to answer your question, the comments that you sent in an email yes. do not get read, they get put into the record. Okay. So. Uh, uh, I didn't bring copies of them. If they get put into the record, then so that's. Would you, like, would you like a copy of what you sent? Because I believe you put sure. it I only found out about the meeting about an hour ago, so. We also, just, just for everyone's information, uh, there have been a number of people who have called and asked if they could send emails. The problem with, with uh, sending emails is that we have, we have to have the minutes done in seven days and the motions, so there aren't going to be any motions, but the minutes done in seven days. So we probably could accept uh, emails for maybe two days We'll leave, it, we'll leave the hearing open for two days to accept emails so that we, we've got to get them in. And I'll there. give you the uh, email address in a minute. We've got to the Senate to City Hall. The Senate will care of the, uh, Randy, Randy, can she send the Senate will care of the, um, the city of Shelton.org, mm -hmm. the, the website, put them on the website. I use the alderman contact information on the That's website okay. to send them directly to the Either way you want to do it. So, but they don't appear to be in her, in her list, so that's fine, I'm sure you'll, I'm sure you'll get them. Uh, the, the fact of the matter is, is that uh, there should be no reason why somebody who's gone through the background check process and has gotten their Connecticut State pistol permit should be restricted from carrying their firearm on public property. Uh, you want to restrict it in schools, that's your prerogative. Uh, I think it's a horrible mistake, and it's been proven time and time again and only now, after the tragedy of Newtown, are certain towns starting to wake up and realize that simply waving a piece of paper in front of their faces saying that this is a gun-free zone is not working. And they're starting to put police officers and former police officers and secure, armed security guards in their schools and recommending uh, bulletproof glass. And some people talk about turning their schools into a fortress. Not for nothing, when I send my four and a half year old, five year old daughter to kindergarten next year, uh, I expect the same level of protection for her at school as I do, as I provide to her when she's at home and when she's in my presence. To hand you over my most precious possession in the whole world and have you tell me that you have no way to defend her life in that school, to me is astounding. Um, so in all honesty, I have to, reconsider when that time comes next year whether I will still be living in Shelton or whether I will move to a town that will provide a higher sense of security for my kid not disarming its citizens uh, and making them more easily uh, targetable by madmen and psychotics thank you thank you sir 